say crazy thing is, if you backdoor GQ, you bro, I'm GQ only friend, bro. Look, think about it, bro. Millions of niggas talk about GQ. Who stand up for that shit every day? Me. I go to war about that shit. That shit on my face. That shit on my chain. I changed my life behind that shit, bro. I'm starting to think I was his only friend, bro. They be like, ain't you don't slide. GQ got a whole neighborhood. I ain't from the guys. Them niggas don't slide. Like, you feel what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. I'm his only friend. I still hold him down to this day. I go to war with the world behind this shit. You feel me? But let me get into the story. So in 2014, this all public records. This ain't no snitching. This shit, all you can Google all this shit. My brother got locked up for a shooting down Southwest. My brother and Turtle from Wallet got locked up for a shooting down Southwest. My brother did not shoot nobody down Southwest. The person that got shot up down Southwest, the person whose birthday it was, got my brother locked up. It was Black Sean's birthday. The police know, I mean, Sai and Black Sean got all this shit going on. FBI involved. All this shit going on. The whole city know this. So on Black Sean's birthday, if some shots go off, they already assume who a suspect is. All they need is a name to lock this nigga up. Somebody on that scene said my brother's name and got him locked up. Long story short, my brother is locked up. My brother was in the studio with Cham, GQ, Rondo, and everybody. They was at the studio out in Fort Washington. I was on my way to the studio. I wasn't there yet. They was already there. They stopped in the gas station to get drinks and shit. You know, before the studio, you get drinks and shit. They stopped in the studio to get drinks and beverages and shit. My brother ain't had no drawers on. My brother ain't had no drawers on, so he got caught on camera. His ass was out. Long story short, the, the, the ass out part is a part of the joke. It's a joke when he had his ass out. So long story short, he was locked. He got locked up. They were saying he uh, he shot up Southwest. He had an alibi. His alibi was they was at the studio. Who was he at the studio with? GQ. The police grabbed me because my brother got caught. It was two people. My brother got my brother got locked up. It was another person. They didn't know the other person. They made the other person terrible. They and they grabbed me for questioning, thinking me and my brother slid on Southwest. I had an alibi that checked out already. They locked my brother ass up, and I told him my brother was at the studio with GQ and them that day because I was on my way there. I remember the day. GQ and Cham. Went to the prosecutors, like the prosecutors, GQ and Chan had to make, like, they were saying that Sal was with them. They had to go to the prosecutors and say that. Like, they can't say it only, they got to say that under oath, that Sal was with them in case he, they was lying, they going to go to jail for perjury. They went and got the fucking gas station footage camera of my brother ass out at the time they said the shooting was going on. GQ and Cham told them that Sal was with them at the gas station, checked the gas station and all that. They went to check the gas station. My brother had his ass out. We cracked a joke and told the police, how the fuck is he, how the fuck is it, can a nigga shoot up Southwest with his ass out? He ain't had no draws on. That's the joke. Nigga like, bro, he only got no draws on. That's what GQ did. GQ got my brother free. My brother didn't go to jail. He got released from jail. They keep talking about he snitched on the nigga. No, the fuck he didn't. He went to the grand jury and got side released, you dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> Stop making up these dumb ass stories, man. He had his ass out. They told the process, so how the fuck did he do that? And he had his ass out. Like, so you telling me this nigga woke up with no drawers on and went and shot somebody. Like, get the fuck out of here. Freaky shooter. <laughs> Definitely freaky shooter. <laughs> but nah, for real. That's what happened though, y'all. It wasn't nice, sir. Ray Wallet. They say, what about Ron Ron? That's my childhood friend. I got him tattooed right here. He the first friend that I ever had that passed away at 16. He was my first dead homie ever. He said, I never do people could die to Ron Ron. I swear to God, they said they found him dead. I spit up. Like, I remember going home crying to my mother. Like, I was crying like shit. That's my real friend, bro. Like, but he was 10 steps ahead of him. He was smoking cigarettes in third grade. We in third grade together. He might we in special ed together. He smoking cigarettes. Like, he driving cars and all that. Like, he a grown ass man. Like, Every nigga in the guy is generated through him. Like, he gave the game to me, to us, and we gave the game. And, like, he was on the streets before us. Real nigga, though, bro. Oh, my mother, he was already going to go-go's. He had the bitches. He was, he was lit already. At 16, he was 25. What about Block Boy Glizzy and Orambo Glizzy? Block Boy is swag brother. That's my man. I love Block no matter whichever way this shit go. Block a little bit crazy. He trip out sometimes. But that's my man. People don't understand Block Boy. I do. Block Boy, that's my man. Rambo. Rambo don't know what side he on. One money play Shy Glizzy, one money play Ang Glizzy. I just straight cut his ass off because I'm going to tell y'all a Rambo story. Let me tell you about Rambo. We outside one day, right? We chilling. I'm with Rambo. I ain't with Rambo. This is the first day I ever met him. We outside. We like 100 deep. 
he walk up, everybody like, yeah, man, this Rambo, such and such, boo, boo, boo. He got all the tattoos and shit. He just come home from jail. He's strong and shit like, kid, man, I don't be playing with niggas, man. Yeah, my name Rambo. I heard about you, man. You side little brother, man. Any nigga play with you, man, I'm telling you, bro, I'm going to start hanging around now. Man, we straight killing shit, man. Niggas play, man, whoop, whoop, whoop. On GQ Gravy, say, man, a nigga play, bro, I keep it on me. I got it on me right now. Man, y'all already you know I'm living. As he telling me this shit on GQ, I swear to God, I'm not lying. As he said, man, I keep it on me. Some some, some shots went off. Ba 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 ba. Shots went off. As he telling me this shit, shots went off. I can turn around and see the car going down the one way, shooting at our ass. So I dropped to the ground immediately. I ain't got shit on me. I ain't got nothing. I dropped to the ground. I just know I'm talking to Rambo. He telling me about all the killer shit he on. This is his time to shine. Like I'm talking about as he telling me this shit, somebody shooting at us as he telling me this shit. I dropped to the ground, cover up, and I look. I just cover my head up, look at the car. I'm looking at the car still rolling. I'm like, oh, Rambo caught this motherfucker. Them niggas about to die on the one way. We about to look sweet. Rambo got their ass. And I turn my head sideways to look right. Rambo ass laying on the ground, looking me directly in my eyes. I'm like, damn. I ain't say nothing, but I'm like, the fuck, bro? You just said. He like, he like, man, it's in the car. It's in the car. It's in the car. I'm like, it's in the car. What the fuck? This nigga throwing me off. Boom. So long story short, they shoot it down the one way. They end up shooting his car. They shot some cars on the street and shit. So they end up shooting his car. Police come. He got bullet holes in his car, so he can't leave his car. They towing his car down. Now the police co towing his car for investigation. A couple cars on the block got towed. I'm like, bro, you know they gonna search that joint with the dog. And then he like, nah, I'm good. Ooh, I left that joint at home for real whole time. I ain't even put that joint in the car. Now I think about it, that joint ain't even in the car. I say, oh, I never fuck with Rambo again. I never fuck with Rambo again. I swear to God, y'all, I never told nobody. I never fuck with Rambo ever again. I seen Rambo go to jail, came back, he started hanging with Shaq Lizzie, and then I left that shit alone. I ain't never fuck with Rambo again. I said, man, what? Nigga, what? Yeah, I heard you shot him, but you shot him. Yeah, nigga, what? <laughs> nigga, what? Never fuck with Rambo as again. I was dumb with him. I'm dumb That was the craziest part about it, but it be like that sometimes. That's why I don't be talking to gangster shit. I ain't no gangster no more. Hey, y'all, when you talk that gangster shit, you got to live up to it. I ain't living up to that gangster shit. That's a lot to live up to, bro. Living up to being a gangster? Oh, my God. I don't even want to do it. I don't even want to do it. But I'll be back, y'all.